Hey, what's going on? JD here, and I have a quick final cut tutorial for you. Some of you have been asking for me to do tutorials in Final Cut that don't require motion. This is gonna be one of those. I'm gonna show you how to create a glitch title effect without any plugins. Let's go. All right, so we've got footage in our timeline already. So we're going to head over to the video titles. We're going to go down and we are going to select custom. And we're going to have that start at about the, we'll say two or three, we'll say three second mark. And then we're going to end at about the six second mark. So we're going to drag that down. So we've got basically three seconds of video. And then what we're going to do is we're going to enlarge that a bit. We're going to call it Calgary. Uh, we're going to select the font and we're going to make that much, much larger. So we're going to go up to 288 and I still don't think it's large enough. So now what we're going to do is we're going to utilize the scale and figure out what size we want. And we're going to we're going to center that text. So there we go, right in the middle of the screen, Calgary. That all looks good. So we're going to go to the front of the timeline now, and we are going to select the blade tool. So we'll go here, select the blade tool, and then using the arrow keys, we're going to jump one frame ahead and we're going to cut. And then we're going to do that again. And we're going to do this multiple times. Now, I'm not sure how many I want to do here, but generally with a glitch effect, you want fast cuts. So you're going to go every frame or so and make these cuts and jump back here, make a cut again. And then we're going to switch to the select tool after we take a look here. That's maybe enough. We'll do a couple more just to be on the safe side. So make a couple more cuts and then we will select select tool and we will delete every other instance of our cut. So right now we've got four, which is probably enough, but you know what? We're going to add one more for good measure. Now all these cuts, they don't have to be the same. Uh, in this case, we're going to keep them all the same. So we're going to add one more. So we've got five total. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to leave the first one normal. And the second one, we are going to make some changes. So we're going to go to uh, the stylize menu. We're going to select bad TV and we're going to drop it in. And you can see the switch will just move that back and you can see that it creates kind of that wave and a color distortion and if we go there we can see we can also move the roll because of old crt tv's roll is up and down uh, and the amount will move it from side to side we're going to leave that where it was and maybe we can add a little more roll so it moves off center for just a moment so we're going to do that, and that should probably be good enough. Now we're going to move on and select the next one. And for this one, we're going to go to the distortion panel, and we are going to select something different. Uh, and we are going to select Wave and drop it in there, which gives it kind of that squiggly look. And because we just want to keep that color kind of the same, we're going to go back to stylize and we're going to grab bad TV again and we're going to drop it in there as well just so we get that kind of color distortion as well. So you can see it goes distorted, it goes really distorted and then back to normal again. So we're just going to leave the fourth clip as normal. We're going to skip to the last one and select that and we're going to go again to distortion this time we're going to select glass block which kind of jumps it out at you and of course we want to kind of have that tv look so we're going to go back to the bad tv to get the coloring 
and we're going to drop that on top as well to give it that kind of look and that's probably good enough for a glitch it doesn't look like much until you play through quite fast it will jump quite a bit and you can see it uh it happens really, really fast. Now we're gonna move our clip back to about the five second mark, and then we're going to copy and paste all of those that uh, we had first created in the end. So we don't have the same sequence. We're gonna take the last one and put it as the first because I kind of like how it pops in. We want it to more transition out, and then we're going to flip the first position back. And now if we play through, you can see we've got a solid in between and then it glitches out and that's really it. So that's how you create a glitch title in Final Cut Pro with zero plugins required. You can obviously change some of the formats and mess around with the durations and the type of effects you use to get different looks. And of course, as you noticed in the title that I showed you, there's some sound effects which you can add to that whole title. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment down below on any tutorials you would like to see in the future. And until next time, see ya.